I probably should have taken <laughs> rather than the kind of <laughs> Okay, let's try that one again. <laughs> Bit of male bonding going on here. They love each other. <laughs> Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another hiking vlog. Today, I'm in Wasdale. As you might be able to tell, it's a very, very cold, bitterly cold, in fact, uh, day today, minus two at the moment. And the plan is to get myself up Great Gable and do a little bit of exploration around there. Uh, it's one of my favourite mountains, just so much to, to look at. Um, and it's a bit of an opportunistic walk today, really, because it's Wednesday. I normally work on Wednesday, but on Monday I saw the forecast for today and it's supposed to be absolutely fantastically clear. So uh, I asked the boss if I could take today off to get out and do this, and he said, yes, that's great. So here I am, and it's so quiet. And that's the beauty of midweek walking. You don't have the crowds. So anyway, the route I'm gonna to do today is along uh, Link Melbeck. I'm gonna head up towards Stye Head. Um, basically towards the stretcher box up there, the one that features in the Scarfell Pike vlog. And then from there, I'm gonna basically just up to the left uh, and straight up to the summit, going past, uh, Raven crags and all that kind of stuff. And then just basically just gonna explore around the summit, see what I can see. You know, the times I've been up here, it's just been clagged in, I've not really seen much, so this should be a real treat. So I will continue and update as I go along. Let's crack on through this farm. Okay, now crossing the bridge that goes over Gable Beck, and from now on, it's a steady incline up to Stayed. Nice and steady, not too bad. I think this has to be my favorite route up Great Gable, uh, in most part because of the prolonged view you get of Scarfell Pike over there, England's highest mountain, but uh, mostly because of the incredible feature that is Piers Gill. You get that nice slow reveal as you walk up the valley. Absolutely staggeringly beautiful. If you haven't seen my uh, Scarfell Pike vlog, that kind of puts in a little guest appearance. So I'll go and check it out. It's worth it, I think. It's probably quite boring, actually. <laughs> Not too far now from the stretcher box up at Stayed. Um, I'll probably stop and have a drink of water or something. I think in the meantime, I'm gonna get a few photographs of that over towards Piers Gill. It's gorgeous. So I'll, uh, I'll pick up again further up. Your box. What a great view. So we've got Scarfell Pike over there in the background. Uh, Lingmail, Broadcrag, Great End, Great Gable, 
stay a tan over there. Right, let's go. Okay, leaving the stretcher box now, heading up the, well, I guess, what is the, the corner of Great Gable, one of the corners of the, the pyramid, um, over Kern Knots, and probably across the top of Raven Crag, and into the sunshine, which would be nice. Last time I was at um, stretcher box there, I met these two walkers and they said, uh, well, they asked me which way it was to Scarfell Pike. And uh, I said, well, it's, it's over there. And they says, uh, oh, are you kidding me? We just had some guy say, it was here. <laughs> Pointing up to Great Gable. <laughs> I mean, there's two issues there. You know, one, the guy who was telling him where to go clearly didn't know where the hell he was or where he was going. And two, not a day. <laughs> it's uh, kind of worrying if you get to that point and you don't actually know where you're going. I mean, luckily for them, it was a clear day, but had that been clanked in, you know, scary. So it's, uh, it's always good to either know where you're going or at least go with someone who does. What a fantastic slab of rock this is. Absolutely incredible, huge. This is the backside of uh, Kern Knot. Um, and on the other side of this, it just drops, it drops straight into the valley. I'll just spin around. What a beautiful view. And how uplifting it is when uh, the sun comes out. It's incredible. I knew the sun was coming, it's a blue sky, but there's something about it. As soon as it lands on your, your skin and you can see your shadow, you just, it's really quite uplifting. So I'm in a very happy place right now. Okay, I'm beyond Raven Crag now. Um, just gone up some pretty steep and loose ground. That's incredibly loose. So if you do come this way, just be aware of that. Um, but look at that, look at that view. Absolutely incredible. And Look at that view. <laughs> you gotta admit, that's pretty good. Straight down Moss Water. Gorgeous. And obviously the uh, Irish Sea in the distance. It's about 11 o'clock now. So I've got stacks of light, which is stacks of time for exploring. Um, I'm gonna put the camera away now because I've gotta navigate this. <laughs> Look at that view. Before I go, just check that view out. There's dry tan down there uh, with water in it. So I'll work that one out. And if I just hold that out, you can probably see the uh, little bit of sty head tan. And further up the gill, you can just make out a little bit of sprinkling tan as well. Wow, I'm going all kinds of off piece today. I just seem to be drawn towards uh, Great Napes for some reason. So the footpath's that way. And I am um, must be some kind of weird tractor beam that's pulling me over this way. I just want to stay on this side of the fell really if I can. Um, without falling, hopefully. <laughs> but uh, there's a path here of sorts. It's obviously well trodden. Very strange to be walking along one minute on steep scree, the next minute it's beautiful soft grass. And look at that, what a wonderful view. <laughs> right, I'm just gonna have to get my camera out I think, get a shot of that and then uh, not far from the summit now, I'll uh, probably drop down from top and get some uh, get some lunch so anyway let's get this shot see how it turns out it probably won't turn out because it's it's rubbish for photography today but we'll see <laughs>
I think I'm going to go and investigate over there, get out of this wind, and uh, ooh, perhaps find a spot to have something to eat. Last vlog, I fell on my backside about seven times. Today, well, I'm not gonna say anything. <laughs> I'll jinx it. An incredible bit of landscape this is. Have to be very careful around here because a lot of frost and big drops. Activity today. Some jets going across, or well, right along Wasswater actually, straight over uh, Beckhead. Brilliant. What a job. That would just be the dream job. So I've just uh, left the Westmoreland can. Fall now. <laughs> oh, look at that. Wonderful. What a landscape. Whew. Something else. Get my camera out again in a minute, I think, and get some more shots. The Nape's Needle is down that way, straight ahead. I'm not going to go down there. <laughs> I might try and, when I go down, cut across, get onto uh, Great Nape's. We'll see. But in the meantime, food. Let's get some fodder in, watch these planes. A free air show. <laughs> okay, just head on down now to um, what's it called? Great Napes. <laughs> oh, this little traverse. Yeah, just bumped into a couple of climbers there that just came up uh, Needle Ridge. Actually, got a couple of shots of them as they topped out and. Uh, I said they worked, at, worked in Keswick, so I'm going to email the pictures to them. I mean, they're not exactly brilliant pictures, but better than a kick in the teeth. Got look at this, though. Oops. That's great. Oh, what a fantastic place. Absolutely fantastic. It's like a little mini striding edge.
go. Great nips. I just come down the screes that run uh, next to Great Nips, and uh, that's pretty horrendous. <laughs> it's so loose and so steep. Anyway, I'm going to pop round to have a look at Nips Needle now. Um, should have some sunlight on it, I'd imagine, this time of day. Apparently, there were some people climbing it earlier on, so I'd imagine they've probably disappeared by now, right? But let's go and have a look. Let's go and see what we can see. Oh, I need my hands. I could do with two hands. I could really do with two hands here. <laughs> right. Uh, oh, can I be bothered going up there? You know what? Oh, I can't be bothered. <laughs> oh, can't see anybody else around here. I'm about bush now, so I'm going to head on back. Back down the path and then down to the car, but look at that for a view. <laughs> It doesn't get much better than that. Well, it looks like I've done it again, folks. I've run out of time. The sun is just about to set there over Wash Water. Just have a look at that a minute. Beautiful. I'm going to sign off now because by the time I get down to the valley, it is going to be too dark to do this. So uh, I've run out of time. I didn't quite get to Nape's Needle, which is a shame. It would have been nice to have gone and look at it properly, but. Um, I don't really want to be messing around with you in the dark, so um, I decided to make my way back down now. So anyway, there you go. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll put the route in the description below. Um, go and have a look at that. Quite an interesting route actually today, and it might help you plan your future walks. If you like this stuff that I'm doing, <laughs> I'm not boring you to death too much. Why not subscribe, you know? I'm gonna wrap it up now because it's getting dark and I'm gonna fall. Uh, so I'll see you next time. See ya.